Hey guys, Arbitman19 here and welcome to the third episode of Foothead Road to Glory. We're gonna get things started off by looking at the comment section and Ben said get Hernanez the second attack in mid, he will be good for your squad and give Kim a street to Palacio and I agree with uh, Ben because uh, I really really think that Hernanez will be a an, an great uh, addition to my squad. First of all because he's an awesome player and I like using him in my main squad as well. Um, and second, because he can give Palacio chemistry so I, so he can be, you know, like in his best performance and Palacio is an absolutely amazing striker so I really want to get him on full cam. But the problem is Hernanez was just a bit too expensive so what I decided to do is to actually pl place a bit so I can get him for cheap and then maybe make even a profit after that when I decide to sell him. So I bid 150 coins for him, of course I couldn't get him for that cheap but I ended up getting him for... Uh, 1100 coins as you will see in a sec and I go on to try and find the game in the division and here you go you can see for how much I got him and it gives Palacio the chemistry I need and I go on and I search for a game and I end up finding an opponent uh, in a sec you're gonna see his squad um, his name is Amazon1414 something like that and uh, his squad, he wasn't the best, uh, he was a mixture of bronzes and gold, as you will see in a sec. And I was thinking, you know what, let's take a look at his squad, he's got Madrid striker, uh, he's got Cedric at right back, Gran Arrow had a centre mid, but overall he's got no chemistry and his team is pretty damn poor. So I was thinking, yeah, I got a real chance here to try and win this guy and get uh, my first win in the division 9 to get my momo ah I'm sorry this is not division 9 this is division 10 obviously if I win this game I'm gonna get the title so we get things started off with Hernanez trying to create some space in the end of the box and taking a shot with his left foot and Hernanez which is exactly why I bought him his shooting is just absolutely incredible every time you take a shot from uh, near the box or even outside the box 20 meters just gonna go in especially on his left foot even though his right is also fantastic and after that Palacio trying to create some space and uh, doing a roulette and some um, stupid skill move who are aren't really necessary I don't know what I was thinking in that moment but uh, nevertheless we did manage to get the goal and that's what's, the, what, that's what's important here and after that, Crescito with a through ball to Palacio. Palacio just it's just too easy for him when he get this kind of chance against his poor defense. And you know, this guy wasn't the best of players. I mean, I just couldn't have just run and run and just go whenever I wanted. And he also didn't have uh, too good of a team. His team was quite shit, so uh, it was uh, pretty easy game for me. As and you can see in half time, it actually doesn't really show here. But how the hell do I have uh, two shots if I? Uh, scored three goals doesn't make any sense and only one shot the target if I scored four, three goals so uh, what the hell is this EA you screw up big time <laughs> like seriously sometimes those stats are just lying because I absolutely dominated this guy and nevertheless let's continue Palacio in the wings trying to cut until the middle with a good pass to Hernanez who leaves the ball to DeSantis gives the ball to Nocharino and Nocharino gonna put it in the back of the net 10 times of 10 just an easy easy finish for him a nice team play a uh, nice bit of a uh, passing sequence which leads to an easy easy chance for Nocerino and uh, it's gonna be 4-0 and at this point I didn't really want to score too much because uh, I didn't want the game to be too long so the episode will be a bit shorter but he decided to pause the game with 4 to nil, and he will rage quit and at this point I was uh, I was feeling good because uh, A I won secondly it's a uh, you know, I didn't have to play the whole game and it's gonna, it's got quite boring after a while because you already know what's gonna happen and I do end up picking up the title of the Division 10 and getting quite a lot of coins which is absolutely fantastic for us because we can work on and getting some more players to the squad because uh, he isn't the best at the moment. I mean, he's got some decent players like Hernanez and Palacio but overall the squad isn't as good as I would like it to be. So uh, we go on and try and take a look on my squad so I can see what kind of I want to do with it. Um, and at this point I was uh, just trying to think and I was not very happy with Shabin because uh, it just wasn't too good. So, but I already had Crescido so I thought what I can do, maybe I can mix up the Russian league in here. So I did end up going to the market and getting some um, a new left winger. I think you can already guess who it is, but I'm not gonna tell you yet. 
And besides from this one, I'll already pick up Fernandez, the Portuguese from the Serie A, so it can give me some more chemistry. Um, the left wing is of course gonna be Danny, as you will see in a sec. And then I'm gonna place Danny in here. Get Moncherino to the to the right, I'm sorry, and get Fernandez in the left. So uh, it's gonna be quite an interesting hybrid going on here. And we're just gonna go on and try and search for our first game in Division 9 and hopefully get the three points to feel a bit more comfortable in the division. And we end up finding an opponent. Um, this team, oh, I don't quite remember, we're gonna see it in a sec. But uh, anyway, his team name is Wispiden FC, something like that. And it took him a while to actually. Uh, Start the game, but nevertheless, uh, we waited and tried and tried. But eventually, he will respond, and finally, we can go on into this game. I searched for quite a while before that, so it was quite annoying. But eventually, I don't care because we end up finding the game. And again, he didn't have the best of squad, just like the other guy I, I played against. And he had like a, a mixture of bronzes and gold with pretty much no chemistry. So it's a game I should be able to dominate, because my squad is just better than his. And overall, this, this uh, game started up very well for me. He's trying to do something from the kickoff, and I get the possession, starting a passing move. Palacio, Fernandez to Dani, and Dani again to get the ball into the box and just put it in the back of the net. And that's a wonderful beginning for Dani in this series, because it's very important for me to, sh to, you know, when I pick up this player for this amount of coins and don't have that much, it's important for me to show he actually worth the coins and does the business and then he did absolutely what he should have done and it's easy finish for him in the start of the game and it's given me a lot of confidence to go on and uh, dominate the game because when you get an early goal it's always good because you're feeling good from the start and after that Palacio gets a chance and what the hell was his keeper doing there some poor work for him but uh, nevertheless we're just gonna go on and score the goal and let's take a look at the replay like his keeper just I don't know what he was doing there and he paused the game I was I thought he's gonna reach for it and uh, but I don't think he ready for it right now, he just uh, maybe tried to do some subs or something like that. But uh, we're gonna risk him the match, at least gonna try and get back into the match. But as you can see, I just block him straight from the kickoff. And Palacio is on the ball again, trying to get some space and shot into the back of the net, no problem at all. Palacio just has been absolutely amazing ever since I picked him up. And he's just an awesome striker. He's so cheap and he's so good for the price I paid for him. He's actually an absolute goal poacher. He's also uh, uh, he's also got some nice dribbling and shooting skills. And then uh, in a fourth space. And here is Danny in the box trying to get some space with some stupid skill moves. And somehow we get the ball again and shoot it. And what the hell is this? I just pressed the B button and I feel really bad for this goal because come on, seriously, his keeper just can't save it. Like, um, I really think that uh, an amateur keeper, not a pro one, should be able to save the shot. I mean, come on, this is just a very, very easy shot that really should not be a goal in any case. And after that, he stopped the game and he decided to rage quit. And at the second game in a row, we actually get a rage quit. And I was quite happy because that means I can uh, make another game in this episode. It's gonna get be uh, three games, one more than usual. And we get back into the ultimate team and uh, we pick up some more coins and we end up going to the market searching for an uh, Italian uh, defense uh, de defender and we end up picking up Bonucci for quite cheap, 300 coins and uh, I actually sent him accidentally to my transfer list or send him back into my club, put him back into into the squad and I'm just gonna check here who should I replace him for and he was quite tired the right centre back so I decided to put bon to put to put Bonucci here which give my squad just a bit more chemistry and it's starting to look in quite better as we build up to in Serie A uh, squad mixture with the uh, like uh, um, Russian squad or Russian league and we go on to the division to try and search for our third game and now our team looks quite decent, our defense is obviously better 
And we can we get on to the third game of the episode. Let's take a look at my opponent team. This is the first actually decent team I faced against. Van Hanel, Kenneth, Chris Payne, with Fernando Torres, Jose Valerio, Ingo Martinez, Carvajal, Pepe Reina in the net. We had a fantastic game, you will see in a sec. But I was quite nervous when I came up against this guy because, well, he has a decent squad and it's the first time actually uh, better. You know, uh, coming up against someone with the uh, 100k chemistry with some good players. But nevertheless, we're gonna get the thing started very easy for us. Palacios on the ball and just an easy, easy player for him in the 14th minute. And I was feeling pretty comfortable because this guy, even though he had uh, a good team for the Vision 9, he was not the best of that. I just ran through his entire defense. So I felt a bit relieved then, and after that Danny is on the ball, trying to create some space in the box and gets a penalty. Um, it's just, I think it's the EI uh, defense, not my opponent fault, but what you can do. Um, I tried to do a relative thing and his player just tackled me or just got stuck in me. I don't know if this is a penalty. Danny is a bit of a diver here, but nevertheless we're gonna get on to the penalty spot and another is gonna take the pen. I actually checked to look maybe there's a better penalty taker but another has got the best stats in my squad and he's gonna take the kick and actually he's gonna send them right to the post and miss it and it was very very annoying because I should have got this goal and actually be uh, two goals ahead and I felt uh, quite angry about myself because I should have taken this chance against this kind of squad and in the half time, I'm in quite dominating, and uh, he, my opponent didn't have any chance at all. And in the second half, we continue our domination, and Palacio trying to get some space, and end up going just between his defense and putting it into the back of the net. And as I said, my opponent was not the best of defenders. I could have just took the ball with Palacio, used some sprint, and just get through. And th this is just not how you defend. And once again, Palacio getting through his entire defense, puts the free goal into the back of the net. And before that, he also picked up a red card after he did some uh, naughty tackles on me. Uh, I think it was Ingo Martinez's uh, second yellow card, so he don't send off. And at this point, uh, I was feeling very good because, you know, I'm in the very, very, very good uh, position in my division. Two games, three wins, six points. And uh, we end up picking uh, some coins after this game, and this is also what this episode come to a close. Um, as you can see, Palacio got the man of the match, we got some coins. And uh, what I wanted to say is basically, write me in the comments below who you think I should buy next. Um, I, as you can see, I have quite a lot of coins, like uh, 2k, so it, I can uh, improve my squad if you just tell me who should I buy. And uh, that's it, uh, basically, this is where this episode comes to a close, and I hope you did enjoy. If you did, drop a like. Uh, if you want to see some more videos, of course, sub to my channel. And that's it, bye bye. Have a great day.